All right, so this is the problem that you are facing. Here is your CPU. This is Task Manager, and this is CPU Z. So I will recommend you to get these two. Open up Task Manager, go to Performance, and you can see how much is your uh, CPU speed right now. And here is the base speed, the maximum speed. You can also see here it's rated 2.5, the maximum and I'm using CPU Z to stress it. So I am recommending this because this is the most easiest and fastest way to test it instead of installing all kind of um, gaming tools. But this is mainly just stressing your CPU. So as far as I've clicked the CPU and stressing it, this is not going up. This is stuck at 0 0.6. So a lot of people or you may be facing is that this doesn't go up it doesn't even move and you will feel slow when you're using your a uh, doing your Premiere Pro production um, your Photoshop and all so you can check here first if, if you have this problem then you can follow these steps to solve it now this is not just for uh, production if you're playing games doing production or doing any intensive application if the CPU doesn't go up even an inch or it's lower than the uh, maximum performance if it's really a huge gap like 10 0 0.10 gigahertz or more then this is one of the way so the first solution what I'm gonna do is to of course you need to set the BIOS to default so Pressing F12 is the same for every uh, laptop. Alright, so if you press F12, you will see this screen. Just go to BIOS Setup. Now, F12 is the same among all computer laptop brands. Just press F12. It is normally to choose to select your boot device, but there is also a setting to select your BIOS Setup. So just click the BIOS setup, you're here. Now you search for, just click load default. Just click load default, press OK. And then everything is by default. And you apply and then exit. So sometimes loading default will actually solve the problem. Alright, so you're in, just go in task manager. You can either just right click on the on the bottom bar here and click task manager or control shift escape together it will task manager so as you can see it is still 0 0.61 gigahertz and if you try to use CPU Z to force just go into bench and stress it as you can see nothing nothing is happening so this is still not working right so let's go to second step we will have to touch on the bio settings now this is very easy if you have the same Dell BIOS you can just go to these settings and you should be able to work if it still doesn't, there is still a third and fourth way. Right? So remember, all BIOS are different. Right? Some BIOS ha have this, some BIOS doesn't. Some have power saving mode in their BIOS. You just have to de deactivate it. That means untick the, uh, the power saving mode because that will actually make it slower to save power so to save the battery now you just go in the performance uh, performance tab and search for these two now these two speed step and turbo boost now one of these is having problem so this is this is your problem here you can try turning one of them off if it doesn't work then you can try the other one so let's turn off Turbo boost first 
and apply it and you can see it is still 0.61 so the turbo boost is not the cause of it it's the speed step so we can test first try stressing the CPU if it still doesn't go up then you can just re deactivate it so stress it and nothing so this doesn't actually go up so it is the speed step that is not working again let's go with this just step and then apply and exit all right so this actually went up so as you can see both of them disabled this 22.2 is higher than before 0. Point something it's so slow and now it is faster so let's go to bench and stress it and see it is now 2.48 nearly to the 2.49 and near to the maximum 2.5 all right so you get the clock of 540 quite stable of course right so let's just try 2.48 let's see how if i would turn on turbo boost so we can see here that the speed step is causing the problem so let us just go and put this back to turbo boost and let's apply all right so you can see it's now 2.3 2.2 and here's the base 2.49 and here 2.5 so for some reason it doesn't go up to the maximum so let me stress and see and this is the highest 2.48 it is exactly same with or without the turbo boost on the bios so this is the result this is the solution so if none of this works you should update your bios into the newest version but i'm not going to show you here lastly all bios are different so some have like ultra books that has some BIOS settings where it has a power saving mode so make sure you disable those power saving mode then it will use all of the power because power saving mode saves power saves your battery life so yeah so if you have the if this works if this works for you then subscribe and famous cyberamers signing up Click subscribe if you haven't, click like, go to the end of my video and click the playlist. In the playlist there are all my videos all at the corner and the right side. So thank you all for watching.